Today we're going to talk about William Stieg. Last two days we've been looking at his books. In fact, I read one of his books to you and some famous author dude or actor dude read the other one to you. And uh, here are the two we read. So Sylvester and the Magic Pebble, you'll notice, is by William Stieg, which means he wrote this story and he illustrated it. So you can see not only is he a good writer, but he's a good illustrator. You might not remember some of the drawings. You know, crying donkeys might not be your favorite type of artwork, but they're good illustrations. And then Wizzle was illustrated by Quentin Blake, who's famous for illustrating all of Roald Dahl's books. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giant Peach, the BFG, all those. This is the guy that illustrated those. Uh, but think about what these have in common and what you would think about the person who wrote them. You might think, well, he's got a good sense of humor. He enjoys magic and fantasy. These both had animals or witches turning into some other type of object. Both of them had happy endings, so maybe he's a pretty positive guy. Well, I'm going to write, I'm going to read to you. I have some information about William Stieg, a biography. About William Stieg. William Stieg grew up in a creative household where artistic and musical pursuits were encouraged. As a child, he loved to read. Robinson Crusoe, Robin Hood, and Pinocchio were his favorites. Stieg began his career as a cartoonist. The year was 1930 the United States was in the throes of the Great Depression. To help support his family, Stieg sold his first cartoon to the New Yorker magazine. He found a job in advertising, but, he says, detested it. Fortunately, in 1967, fellow New Yorker cartoonist and children's author Robert Krauss suggested that Stieg try his hand at writing children's books. Stieg jumped at the opportunity because he saw it as a way to leave advertising. His first book for children, CDB, was soon published, and a new career had begun. Although William Stieg's illustrations have been widely praised, it is his way with words that readers seem to enjoy most. He uses all sorts of long, outrageous words like cantankerous and recumbent that are not usually found in picture books. He also uses made-up words such as drambera doomed and Gibracan Sibibble de Grey. <laughs> William Stieg respects the intelligence of kids. That's why he doesn't hesitate to insert long words into his stories. William Stieg's career in children's books almost didn't happen. He never intended to become an author and illustrator. He once said, If I had had it my way, I would have been a professional athlete, a sailor, a beachcomber, a painter, a gardener, a novelist, a banjo player, or a traveler. Any of that surprise you? That he almost didn't write books? He started as a cartoonist. I guess if he were around today, he might be a graphic novel writer. Did it surprise you that it was back in the 1930s? Before your grandparents were even born? Your great-grandparents were around, but they were young. That he wrote these books? So, this was a while ago. When an author writes something that lasts that long and is still popular, means they were probably pretty good. So today, you can either write about what you learned about William Stieg, or you can be inspired by him. You could uh, write a story similar to one of his. You could try writing a story and drawing the pictures. You could try doing a cartoon in his style, because that's what he did at first. Um, so, now we know a little more about an author that is high quality, and we can Try to be a little more like him in our own writing. Okay, happy writing.